despite all our sterling efforts as school inspectors from Offwich, too many witch schools are continuing to fail. Young witches are still leaving our witch academies without knowledge of the most basic witchcraft skills. Spells and chants have not been mastered. Broomsticks cannot be flown with confidence. And the general standard of potion making is frankly woeful. It is not a situation the witches' guild can tolerate for one moment longer. I therefore propose an immediate inspection of every witch school we believe to be suspect. And where standards are not being reached, we will not hesitate to act. For the sake of the very soul and future of witchcraft, we must stop the rot. <laughs> Mildred Hubble, what are you doing? It wasn't me, Miss Harbroom. The shells just gave way. You mean you were clumsy? No, I hardly touched them. Maybe they've got woodworm or something. Well, don't just go up, girl. Clear it all up. You've had a lucky run lately, Mildred. Very lucky. Impressing the chief wizard, coming through your program of special duties unscathed, but I've not been fooled. You're still the same nuisance you always were. What's that smell? <gasps> Oh, sorry, Miss Harbroom. Fair. Look. Hiccuping potion, Miss <gasps> Harbroom. <gasps> okay, quick, find a mop. That potion is very strong and it spreads like... <gasps> oh, for goodness sake. Yes, Miss. <gasps> quickly, quickly, before it gets the whole thing glass. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> What are you doing here, Sybil? Waiting for Ethel. She's giving me another broomstick flying lesson. Look, there's Mildred. Trust me to break something like that. It's a good thing this hard room is that stopping spell. Yes, or we might have been hiccuping forever. Hello, Mildred. Oh, hello, Sybil. Could I just say, I thought you were amazing the other night when you got the chief wizard to turn that frog back into a man. I don't care what Ethel says. I think you're absolutely brilliant. Oh. Well, that's very nice of you to say so. In fact, I wish you were my sister and not Ethel. Do you really? Well, Mummy and Daddy will be pleased to hear about that, won't they? Oh, Ethel, I didn't mean it. Not like that. How exactly did you mean it then? And you still expect me to help you with your broomstick flying? It's her, Ethel. She's got your sister under a spell. I have not. Come on, Millie. Don't get mixed up in this, for goodness sake. She started it. How? By letting Sybil into trouble. No, it's not true. She didn't. It's not true. Oh, for pity's sake. Just stay right away from her, will you? Don't worry. She intends to. Do you want this broomstick flying lesson or not? Ladies, brace yourselves. We've been selected for an immediate inspection by Offwitch. What? Cackles Academy has been identified as a school on the brink. On the brink of what? Failure. Let's not get melodramatic. Apparently, off which has received reports of goings on. What sort of goings on? Mysterious whirlwinds gusting through dormitories, pupils being turned into frogs, senior members of staff being attacked by flying buckets. Well, they believe we may have a problem. And if so, they want to find out what it is. So tomorrow we receive an urgent visit from an inspector. Tomorrow. That's right, Davina. But that gives us no time to prepare. That's exactly what they want. To catch us on the job. We'll just have to show them. Inspectors. What are they anyway but uh, failed old witches themselves? Sybil's been bewitched ever since Mildred saved her from that magic cyclone. She spends most of her time trying to follow Mildred about. She must have got the message by now. Mildred finds the whole thing really cringy. So do Enid and Maud. Yes, apart from anything else, Mildred hates having Ethel's sister around. Understandable. I just wondered if we could say something to help her. The way she carries on at the moment, Mildred's never going to want to be her friend. Leave it to us. Yes. Don't worry. We'll handle it. Thanks. I just don't want Sybil to end up getting hurt. 
If this inspector doesn't think we're achieving the standards required by the Witches Guild, she can cut off our gas. Gas? G-A-S, Guild Approved Status. And you know what that means. We have to close the school. But there's no need to be negative. We should treat this as an opportunity. None of us would claim, surely, that everything at Cackles was perfect. An outside eye might help us to make one or two much-needed improvements. Do we know the name of our visitor? Um, yes. It's here somewhere. Mistress Hecate Broomhead. Ooh. What's the matter, Constance? Ladies, be afraid. Be very afraid. Sybil, it's only us. Where on earth did you get those? What? The weights. Oh. From Miss Drill. Trying to build up your strength? Sort of. I decided I needed more confidence. And do you think it's doing the trick? I don't know. Sybil. This isn't about Mildred, is it? What do you mean? Sib, do you really think Mildred's the best person to try and be friends with? She's the only one who's been kind to me since I arrived. All I want is a sister. A real sister. Not a bossy boots like Ethel. Come, please. At least tell us who this woman is, for goodness sake. If she has a reputation, Constance, shouldn't we be warned? Mistress Hecate Broomhead was my personal tutor at Witch Training College. She more or less taught me everything I know. She's quite the most thorough, demanding, and relentless witch I've ever come across. That's nice. We drew the short straw there, then. Right. Well, at least we know what we're up against. I suggest we call a meeting of the whole school. In the meantime, draw up an emergency plan of action. It's obvious that tomorrow, absolutely nothing must go wrong. That's it! I want every inch of the walls covered. That's lovely. You want to make a good impression on this bed, don't you? Parents' complaints, broomstick flying accidents, improper use of spells, get rid of those, we don't want off which finding them. I'm sure you want the school to pass this inspection just as much as we do, Mildred. And given your tendency to cause calamity, it would be preferable to keep you out of the inspector's way. What do you mean, Miss Harbroom? Hide you. Not to put too fine a point on it. Keep you in here for the day so that you don't exist. But I do exist. Yes. But you don't have to, as far as the inspector's concerned. Isn't that cheating? Certainly not. Merely steering the inspector away from one or two details, which, given her hectic schedule tomorrow, she can afford to ignore. What are you doing? Removing your bats. Winky, blinky, and nod, but why? Because I happen to know Mistress Broomhead, our inspector, has an intense dislike of bats. She thinks they create a distraction and spread all sorts of diseases. What are you going to do with them? Don't worry, they'll be perfectly happy. You can't keep them in a box, Miss Harbroom. They're not used to being cooped up. Poor bats. I wonder where she's taking them. She went into the storeroom. Carrying a box? Yes. It's got my bats in it. I don't suppose you could just go and have a look, could you? I'm worried about what she's going to do with them.
Monsieur Cackle? The principal. I hope you had a pleasant trip. Actually, I didn't. The directions you sent me were very confused and unclear. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I offer you some tea or some breakfast? No, thank you. If you don't mind, I'd like to get going. Oh. Well, I hope you have an instructive day here. Please feel free to ask if there's anything I can do to help. I'm sure you'll find everything at Cackles is more than satisfactory. Miss Cackle, could we come straight to the point? I have a job to do here and limited time to do it. Could we avoid all the kerfuffle and flim-flam, do you think? Yes, of course. Ah, I believe you know my deputy headmistress, Constance Hardbroom. Constance? It's an honor to make your acquaintance again, Mistress Broomhead. I wish I could say the pleasure was mine. I must say I'm surprised, Constance, to find such a promising student as you ending up in an establishment like this. Could you all collect yourself a name tag before you go in? We want the nice lady from off Wit to know who you all are. Clarice? Go in and sit down, Clarice. Look, Sid, all we're saying is that if you're really looking for a way to impress Mildred, we found it for you. What? Going to the store and rescuing her bats. It's easy to get in there. You don't have to go through a locked door or anything. No, there's a high window you can fly up to in the Great Hall. It's been done before. Mildred's done it, so it can't be that hard. And then all you have to do is find the chest and open it by casting a spell, okay? I can't do that! What if I get caught? I'll be thrown out of school. You won't get caught. The teachers will be too busy with off witch to notice anything like that. But I'm useless at flying. I suppose one of us could go with you. I don't know. It's up to you, Sybil. Take it or leave it. But Mildred's going to be alone in her room all day. It's your golden chance to do something for her. Yeah, to cheer her up. Sybil, come on, hurry along. I'll think about it. She came and took my bat as well. Barney? It's cruelty to animals. Yes, it's bad enough keeping Millie in here all day. But what can we do? We could tell this inspector. No, I don't think that'd be a very good idea. It would certainly worry HB. What, may I ask, is going on here? Mildred Hubble, would you get back in your room? And you two, join your class immediately. <laughs> And you are? Miss Bat. I don't like bats. Oh, well, um, would you like to sit down, Mistress Broomhead? I was going to say, carry on, as if I'm not here. But given the state of the room... Oh, do you like it? Like it, Miss Bat? I'm horrified. Do you really expect me to believe you keep it like this all the time? Visual displays are one thing, but this is a nightmare. Do we really need to be told that this is a blackboard? Well, we try to encourage good uh, um, uh, communication at Cackles. Do you now? Perhaps you'd like to show me how well you communicate with the girls. Come on then, Miss Bat. Teach! Yes. Girls, where were we? Oh, here we go again. What are you crying for this time, darling sister? Something happened in chanting. What? Come on, Sybil. Spill the beans. Miss Bat was teaching chanting from memory. And with the inspector being there and everything, I forgot the words. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. How many more times are you going to let the family down? I don't know how you put up with her. What's a family got to do with it? In case you'd forgotten, Sybil, our father is chair of the governors here. If this school fails its off witch inspection, it makes us Hallows look pretty stupid. Well, you could be a bit more sympathetic. Oh, find some other shoulder to cry on. Well, maybe I will. Where are you going? 
I'm Fenny and Grizz. What for? Sybil? Well, Miss Keckle, it hasn't taken me long to get a general impression. The school is even more of a shambles than I expected it to be. The teaching is patchy, to say the least. The pupils are underachieving, but the real indictment is the distressing quality of your paperwork. Ah, well, if I could just say... You call this a witch development plan? You can light a fire with this. Never mind develop a witch. Where are your magic targets? Your key spells? Your budgets for broomsticks and potions? Forget books and teachers. What schools need are documents. If I could just interject, Mr. And as for you, Constance, I must say I am deeply disappointed. All the training I gave you is obviously going to waste. Ah, oh, well, I can see why you might say that. In any case, I don't think I need to see very much more. Clearly, this is an ailing school that could only benefit by having its gas removed. Benefit? You'll close us down? Now, there is one last thing I need to investigate. A name keeps cropping up. Mildred Hubble. So where do I find this infamous girl? Quick, Mildred, we have to get you out of here. Mistress Broomhead is looking for you. Me? That's what I said. But... Come on, come on. Where are we going? I've made up my mind. I'm going to do it. But Sybil... Just let her get on with it. Whoa! Go on, then. Me? Yes. Thanks, Griselda. Okay. Up and away! You can't pull the pool over my eyes, Miss Keckle. I'm an up witch inspector. Just explain, Mistress Broomhead. Oh, she's here somewhere. I know she is. Aha! Here we are. So where is she? Come on, move! She could turn up anywhere! Do you remember the spell? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. Kiss the pandor, pat is the sword! Don't worry, little bats. Help's arrived. What's the matter? The bats. They're not here. That's ridiculous. I saw them when HB put them in. Well, there's nothing here now. Just this. What is it? The Forbidden Almanac of Anarchy and Unruly Spells. What on earth would Miss Hardbroom want with that? Sybil, Fenella, what are you two doing in here? Sybil Hallow, give me that volume at once. Ah, there you are, Constance. Don't look so surprised. It was me who taught you how to appear from nowhere. And this, I take it, is Mildred Hubble. Oh, Lily, if I could just... You're very elusive, Mildred. Could you tell me what you've been doing today? I, um... Speak up, girl. Mistress Broomhead, please, can we stop this? I admit it. We've been trying to conceal one or two things. Is that so? I'm sorry. I'm not proud of it. But please, forgive us. Off which is so powerful. And I was only trying to protect the school. Miss Keckle, you can't really expect leniency, can you? Your academy is not only failing, it is a den of lies and subterfuge. It will give me great pleasure to close it down. Why don't you just leave our school alone? Autocratus, Tyrannus, Infantum, Returnus! What have you done? Spell to change bullying adults back into children. This must be Mistress Broomhead as she was when she was a girl. You double-crossing cheats! How dare you! 
Turn me back immediately! You can't do this to me! I'm Hecate Broomhead! Do you realize how important I am? Turn me back now, or I swear you'll regret it. You'll see. Does this mean she was always like this? Yes, she was, actually. What do you mean by that? Your name's not Hecate Broomhead. It's Wilhelmina Wormwood. We were at Witch Academy together. And if I remember rightly, you got expelled. That's nonsense. You terrorized all the other girls, turned teachers into snakes and lizards, and when you were finally caught, you tried to freeze the whole school inside a block of ice. All because a bat bit you when you were young. That was your excuse, anyway. I bet you kept all that pretty quiet as you rose to your present post. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you? Don't worry. We won't say a word to anyone. And we'll turn you back into Hecate on one condition. You agree this school has passed its inspection with flying colors. But I can't... Don't worry. We'll draw up the paperwork. All we'll need is your signature. Thank you for your glowing assessment of us. Keckles Academy obviously has a lot of character. And it was so nice to see you again, Mistress Broomhead. Yes. And you, Constance. Uh, have you spoken to Mildred yet? No. Oh, Sybil, that was the point of the whole thing. I know, but we didn't find her bats. Excuse me, Miss Harvroom, but, um, what happened to Winky, Blinky, and Nod? Oh, yes. I dare say you could have them back now, Mildred. The handkerchief, of course. I saw a spell in the almanac, how to hide the truth from prying eyes. I think we can call that a soaring 